This one, this box this is sitting on, I, we might want to plug that one in. That's new old stock. Oh hmm. boy, let's... This, this, this was a radio that I saw sitting at a show. Actually, it was the box. And I asked the person what that was. And he said, well, it's, a, it's an RCA radio that's never been opened. And I thought, how much do you want for it? And his price seemed to be pretty good. And curiosity got the best of me. And I had to open it. So I, I was the one that sliced the nice. tape to open it. And yeah, we should bring this out here on the floor. This is a great forward. This is a look at this. That. Is a, this should, should be ceremonial here. It, it, yeah. Because this, this has never been plugged in. In fact, I don't even, not even oh, sure. Oh, Chris, Chris and I, we've called this popping the cherry a few times. Okay, well that's what that's what this is. Wow. Um, I opened it up enough to take the, the packing out to look at the radio and sitting on top, let me move this out of the way, sitting on top of the box, as I found it when I opened it, was this. I, I opened it up and this is what I saw. It was this little instruction sheet. That was just sitting right like that. And it had been sitting so long that I don't know what was eating okay. the paper. Paper bugs, those silverfish, they love, they absolutely love anything that RCA published. Isn't that funny? Schematics. I mean, I'll have a, a, you'll have a drawer full of schematics and those things will be dining on the RCA stuff. They won't touch, they won't touch Sam's. <laughs> So I thought, okay, here's the instruction sheet that came with this radio, and you know, who knows how many more years it'll be until it's gone completely. So the first thing I did was I scanned it, and then, and then I with with software I I cleaned up all the right the holes and things as best I could. It still kind of shows up there, and then I reprinted it so I would have. A copy of the instructions that hopefully it will last a few more years after this one disappears. It should have a schematic with it, no? Every all this old stuff I've ever seen all always came well, with a schematic. If it did, if it does, it's still in here. So it's, it's not there. I unpacked it, so this is as it as it was when I when I uh, opened it up. Yeah, that's really a beauty, huh? Brand new in the box. Wow. I'll take the box away and see if I put it down. See if there's anything else in that box. Okay. Well, let's just look at the let's look at the back for a second. Look at this. It's not all marred up and scratched and see the 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 cord is is starting to uh, right deteriorate. It's probably it looks like it would be safe. You want to open it? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, wow, look at that. Where is the knob? There's a knob missing here from the side, no? That's a good question. Look in the box, see if there's a knob. There's a little paper bag here. Something's inside it that might be. It's a union bag. You won't see that inside of the Chinese built piece of electronics. Oh, there's the knob. Did I crack it? No. There it is. Let's put the knob on it for the first time. Can you imagine if they made a 
If they made a radio today, let's have a look at the inside. Oh, okay. If they made a radio, sold a radio today, they couldn't do it with the knob off because people don't have the dexterity or skills to put, to put the knob on. That's right. Yeah, it's very stiff. Yeah, don't don't crack it, David. Let's not. There, it's, it's on enough. Okay. To try let's it. look at the back. Okay. So it's just a five tube radio. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two schools of thought on this. There's my way of doing it, which is just a brute force, plug it in and hope it explodes in the video. <laughs> or there's the other side, which is that the filter capacitor is most likely needs to be reformed if it's good at all. Okay, so you do that slowly. And, and it could possibly, who cares if it damages the filter capacitor, but it might blow up if it's shorted it might sacrifice that yes. rectifier tube so maybe we should um maybe we should not plug it in i'm thinking yeah yes me too yeah. too nice to to gamble on something happening right that's yeah, never i mean this is the dial has never been moved that's how that's how it came wow that's, this is really a beautiful radio I'm yes sorry. that's a museum piece there so, I think I paid forty bucks for it. Yeah. So you got it's pretty great value. It's old enough to where it it's using octal tubes. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same design as something that's using the nine seven pin tubes, but. Mm -hmm. Can you hold it up and let's let get the bottom of it? And sure. Just the the label there. Look at that. There we go. Even they're so confident of the quality of the radios they do, they put print the warranty on the cabinet. So they stand behind their products. Made in USA. That's really cool. Yeah. I like the the copper color behind the dial. Yeah. Now this this definitely might be something I want to restore and get it get it working. Every time I'm moving this power cord, I can feel it cracking. Yeah. So that's definitely something that will need to be replaced. 